Um, hey, what is up, guys? How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is staying safe. I hope everybody is doing well. It is your boy, Jake. Get again, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Let me play a song for you guys. Sands alone, free my shadows, it's in the sun, no, let's tear him with the scheme so sly, try to frame him, but Calvin won't come by, see as Calvin is innocent, the truth will shine, let's stand and try to frame him, cross the line, they destroyed by the studio, left it in the dust, but Jake clear Calvin in him we trust. Unraveled the lies of powerful scripts. Bubba realized his dough was gone. But Calvin's name, it was clear at dawn. C.H. Calvin is innocent. The truth will shine. Blitz and Anna tried to frame him. Cross the line. They destroyed Bubba's studio. Left it in the dust. But Jake clear Calvin in him we trust. In the end, the light prevails. Calvin's truth that never fails. Mama sees the wrong, the stolen cash. Calvin's name now free from that. C.H. Calvin is innocent. The truth will shine. Let Santa Anna try to frame him. Cross the line. They destroyed Bubba's studio, left it in the dust. But Jake Clear Calvin in him we trust. Calvin walks with his head held high. The shadows gone under the clear sky. The truth revealed, the lies unveiled. Calvin's innocence. Hey, what is up, guys? How is everybody doing on this thirsty Thursday morning? On the in the, I am from the great state of Mississippi. We are powered by StreamYard, and we are who we are, and we are different than everybody else. What is up, guys? How is guys? How is everybody doing? Um. Yesterday was one of those crazy days. Um, it was one of those days that you, you know, we had a good show yesterday. We want to say thank you to Sarah, Steve, Lobo, and, and the Skipper for uh, coming by and being part of this. Um, Um, later this later this year, um, when he retired, when he um, I have a little bit of news. Later this year, we might have. What's up? We love here. We love Pennsylvania. Uh, later this year, um, uh, when he retires from Fox 2 News, we might have an interview set up with, we might be doing an interview with, um, with, um, with, um, with Rob Warchad from Fox 2 News. We might. Hey, we we love we love Pennsylvania. Wish you uh, what's up, guys? Good morning. How is everybody doing this morning? U.S. U.S.A.
you know. I wrote a song and uh, I'll put it up over here. Sorry. I'll play this video. Thank you for being. I love that last year they did it in Las Vegas. Now they're going to be doing it back in. I'm going to play this song for you guys. This is um, from Mark Vaughn. You're always watching, kick, keeping tabs on the street. But your own platform was crashing, losing steam. Stop chasing trips, trying to fit in. Your own house is burning, but you won't be here. Not mock time to wake up and see Your platform sinking while you watch TV Fix your stuff, don't let it fall apart Get back to the grind where you made your start They say the grass is greener on the other side But your roots are deep, there's no need to hide Kick streamers may be flashy, but they're not your game Focus on your vision, make your platform rain. At not mark, time to wake up and see. Your platform sinking while you watch TV. Fix your stuff, don't let it fall apart. Get back to the ground where you made your start. You've got the power, the tools in your hand. Stop getting distracted, take a stand. Your audience is waiting there. Just focus on your platform, don't drift away At not mark, time to wake up and see Your platform sinking while you watch TV Fix your stuff, don't let it fall apart Get back to the grind where you made your start So turn off the stream, log out for a while Fix your platform, make it worth the while At not mark Guys, the music that I play is AI music, so it's non it's no copyright. Yeah, good morning, guys. How is everybody doing this morning? Um, I will, people's, while I'm even live, because Good morning, guys. How is everybody doing this morning?
Let's watch this. I'm not even Um, what's up, guys? How is everybody doing? <laughs> what's up? If I here, here's the thing: I would I would be a double con, but I would don't travel. So what I'll do is. Good morning, guys. How is everybody doing? Levy. 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 Jiggy, 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 jiggy. FKA. So here it is. Oh, it's the whole. Oh, crap. Damn it. All right. Hey, what's up, brother? How you feeling? How you doing? Unbelievable. What a great day did, to be alive. I did, I did send you a link for the first stream yesterday. Then I, after 40 minutes, got bored. There was no one talking. So I, I understand. Dude, it's, dude, and then the second stream was like two and a half hours. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Yeah, uh, yeah and, uh, you know what happened on the fr the the second one is I showed you the screenshot. It's just the the opening Chrome just wasn't there for that particular that, one. Uh, that that was last week. That was that was like on that was like Tuesday. Oh, you, you well, did, I think yesterday. Yesterday, for the, about, sorry. No, no worries. I missed the first link completely. I I got it after you were already done. The second link, I signed in and i was getting ready to come on and then you were closing out so i guess i i caught it too late uh, but i'm uh, here now and that's all that matters here. brother we're here now yeah um i want to also i want to talk about like uh something that um dude they're like they're well, i i don't i used to have bubba on the tv no i don't watch a lot of bubba i watch a lot of like uh uh, w e e i out of uh, Boston. That's where I'm at. Uh, the Greg Hill Morning Show. Yep, that's where I am. I I grew up on that. <laughs> it used to be on 107.3 WAAF. The Craig Hill Morning yeah. Show had had uh, LB right. LB. Who was the uh, guy? Who was the guy who used to play hockey? That was LB. That was okay. LB. What's it? What's his full name? Uh, Leland Byers, I think it says, but they call him LB for short. Do you know he was on an episode of Bar Rescue season? Oh, one, no, I, I didn't know about that. Over in uh, Hang Angry, the name of the name of the bar was Angry Ham's Garage. 
for it was I think it was a, a, a bad name for the for the city was somewhere ham I can't even say it right. That's what they call the uh, that from that city's hams. Far out, man. That's groovy. Yeah, uh, but I want to ask. I want to talk about like um, you know. And dude, yesterday I had I had a I didn't have a hard out, but I had to go and uh, help a show, um, a show that WATP start uh, gave their. Um, there was a show out in Connecticut called the. Uh, it was formerly known as that reality show. Now it's known as um, Trainwreck TV. Hmm. I heard you say something at the end. You said something about how you had a link. And how you had to go, you had a link, you had somewhere to go. So that's cool. How'd you do? Yeah. How'd it go? Yeah, it went good. The thing good. is, and, the, and, the, and by the way, the episode, the audio got put up, the audio of yesterday's streams got put up this morning because after I was tired and then the roommate had to come in and put, an air, put a fan there so I, so I was overheating. So the Damn, roommate, wow. uh, this whole time you hadn't had a fan? Uh, air conditioners and stuff. That, I got you. I got a big AC up there. I don't know if anybody can see that, but yeah, that's my baby, uh, my fan right there. That's my life. Yeah, um, I want to add, I want to talk about things that, you know, I've seen a lot of people come and go out of the Bubba Army. I've seen people come and people go from the Bubba Army. Name one. Who do you, who? Who's who's gone? Who do you know that came and gone? What's uh, the first the first one that pops in your head? Uh, Hadley. Brent. Hadley. Yeah, Brent. Oh, I thought you meant listeners. I didn't know you were talking about co-hosts. Co-host, uh, dude, uh, people that have been on the show. Tuttle is one of them. Manson and Tuttle uh, was just and, uh, Tuttle was just on yesterday. Yeah, I know that. Um, uh, but he's, I, he also Manson and his son. Trey's. Oh God. Manson's son is a piece of scum shit. I hate his I guts. Know, but... I know. He, 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 he's still, he was still part of the show. We have to still acknowledge him. I don't hate Manson as much as I hate his son. Yeah. His son's a piece of shit. That's why I got banned. Uh, the first, the first two minutes that Manson put up his cluster F channel. And it, he was sitting there with his wife, and they were just fingering around on Twitch and the computer and figuring stuff out. And and I said that, how does it feel having such a worthless son? And they banned me permanently forever. <laughs> I can't even watch yeah, the content. Um, yeah, um, I also want to tell you something now because of Twitch is new. Twitch has this new thing where it used to you can still see the screen, you can still see the stream, but you can't see the chat. Now people can toggle on. You can't mm -hmm. see the stream either. Right. I couldn't. I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, what is going on here? I can sign in as, as like I could go on the internet because you know how Twitch used to work. If it was live, you could see it. You didn't have to sub. You could watch it for free if it was live, right? Yeah. But now they've made it so that okay, if they ban you, you still can't see it, even if it's on and it's live. So that's. But you already, that's what you just basically said about Twitch. Hey, did you find out the truth about April? Is she good? The, the thing is, is I, I've also heard, dude, we have a lot of stuff to, that, you know, now it's like Kayla's getting Aaron for revenge porn. Kayla Ricada is getting, is sent a video to, um, to Aaron. A, a a explicit video, explicit photos and stuff, and and sent it over to Gino Pasconti. You talking about call me Michaela? Uh, no, not Michaela. Kayla, uh, Nick Ricada's wife. Oh, I don't know any of these people. Nick Ricada, the uh, the 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 one that that uh, Kayla was also a referral on the cocaine charges. Wow. She was a co. She was a. She was one of the people that got arrested in that raid at the Nitrikata's house. I wonder and, if they uh, tested any of those people when they got them back to the station. 
I wonder if they tested him to see who had cocaine in their blood and who didn't. Uh, they, 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 they let, they let uh, April go. But as far as what this guy was saying two days ago about April, that wasn't true, right? David Chandler was a dirty liar. Uh, David Chandler is also a uh, he. David Chandler is a, is a, is a money is one of our money marks. So I'm not trying to piss him off. Right, but if this he's he's, he's lying in your chat about mark. somebody. He, he, dude, dude, dude. He, dude. We have to make him happy. We can't talk about him because he's a money mark. He, dude, the guy gives me hundreds of dollars, has given me thousands of dollars. Perfect. And he gets to say whatever he wants, even if it's untrue. By the way, I, uh, I do have a, I do have a throwback pick that I want to put on the board here. Um, this is a throwback pick from, um, we're talking about. That's April's mugshot. She's gross. She's so gross. Even if she got made up, she's gross. She's just not my type, that's all. And everybody, maybe there's, maybe there's a lot of people who think she's attractive, but she's not my type. I like Spanish girls. I like dark hair. That's the reason why, that's the reason why you like Maria Guatemala. When I first saw her the first time, I'll never forget it. I can remember it right now, just like it was right now. I couldn't believe it. I went nuts in the chat. I'm like, who is that? Who's Maria? Does she have a boyfriend? Does she have a husband? Who is she? Who's she with? What the hell? And, and nobody, nobody knew. Nobody in chat answered my question. Yeah. And then I had to wait. And then finally on Monday, it was kind of funny. She hit me up on Twitch. And she goes, mm -hmm. "It's I, there's just a person named Maria. I didn't put two and two together, but she said, it's me in the whispers in Twitch. Yeah. And I'm like, great. Yeah. Like, I don't know who this yeah. is. It's you. Great. And then she's like, I, uh, no, it's Maria from 199. I'm like, no! Oh, oh my god! So good. Hey, I, I called in on a bubble 199 before. Nice. Me too. I called in, and every, every call did Blitz have something to say about me, about stuff that I I've, I've, I've did? You know, I'm not even one of, you know, here's the thing. I don't support, I didn't support Blitz. Blitz was a piece of shit. Still is, probably. He owes, he owes Bubba $250,000. At least he admitted it. He never shied from the fact that Blitz is a dick, right? He never, he never. At least he would pretend to be a nice guy and then be a dick in the end. He was straight up a dick mm -hmm. and we knew it. And we either dealt with it or we chose not to. But when I had to beg for my ring for a full year before he would let it up and he would flash it to me on his desk like this, he'd pick it up on his uh, desk and he'd hold it on the camera and dangle it in front of me. Did, did you get the ring? Yeah, I got it a year later. I, had to, I I was texting Lummox every week. Can you ask Blitz about my ring? Can you ask Blitz about... I'll ask him, I'll ask him, I'll ask him every single week for a full year. And then finally I got on the air and told Bubba about it. And Bubba had it to me like that. But here's the kicker. It came with next year's ring too. That's how long it took. I got both. I got the ring from last year and the new one at the same time. Because he held my other ring for a full year. Out of hate. Maybe he thought it was funny. But I never did nothing to him. I actually, I actually thought he was funny on the radio because he thought like me. Because we're from the same genre, we're from the same culture. We like the same music. We remember the same pop culture references from growing up. The cartoons we watched, the things we did. You know what I mean? So yeah, a lot of times yeah. where Bubba would say something, and I would want to type it in chat or call in and talk about it, Blitz would already he'd already said it, so I didn't even have to type it in chat or call because. We're, our thinking was kind of on the same level, even humor-wise, one-liners and stuff, things that, you know, I, I thought only I would say, he would say it. And I'm like, all right, so it's hard now because this guy's 
kind of funny on the radio to me. He makes me laugh, but he's such a dick. Like, fuck. Makes it hard, right? Yo. Like, Seth is a dick, right? And I can't stand Seth. And I give him chance after chance. And I will, I will, I'm, I'm afraid to say, I don't think I could ever like Seth again. After what he's done, I can't. I can't. And I'm a forgiving person. I can forgive him. I just want nothing to do with him. He's a dirty, Have dirty, you. lying son of a bitch. Yo. Just like Tuttle. Tuttle's a big liar, too. Tuttle's one of the biggest liars that I've ever met. There's a lot of liars in the Bubba Army. But Tuttle's the biggest. Yo. Let me tell you how dirty Tuttle is. So, when Tuttle's mother was passing away, I was here for him every minute of any day. If he called me in the morning, if he called me at night. If he texted me, I texted him back. I, gave, I prayed with her, for her. He didn't even believe in God, but she did. So, I prayed a, a wonderful prayers. And I had the faith that she was going to make it. And, unfortunately, she didn't. But I was still there for him even after. Now, on the evening that my mother went into the hospital, and her sister told me that it's not looking too good. I texted Tuttle right away and I said, hey, bro, you know, my mom's in the hospital and it's not looking good. And he says, okay, man, well, I get out of work at nine. I'll call you after. Do you think he called me? No. No, he didn't. And then at 612, the next morning when I got the news, my mother passed away. He was the first person I texted. And I just said two words. I said, she's gone. Do you think he texted me back or called me at all? No. No, nope, not at all. That shows me all I need to know about Tuttle for the rest of my life. Fuck Tuttle. That lying fuck. You know, listen, here, here's the thing. You know what the thing is? It's like, you know, and I'm, by the way, I want to, I want to say something. Number one, um, I, we have a guy in the chat, John from Florida says, is, is this guy, is the guest in hospital care? No, he's in a nursing home right now. Because of it, of, of some injuries, you know. Uh, if you guys don't, uh, here's the thing, John. John from Florida is a big stuttering John Mark. Great he's a, from the stutter, stuttering John community. I thought he was all. I thought he was the John from Florida that was a big fan of. A, oh, I, you mean like the real have, John from the real John from Naples? Yeah, I thought that, but. It, but it's not because he's he's he doesn't know who you're. Well, you know, if, he, if he has any if he has any questions, I'll answer every question he has. If he needs to know backstory and anything, I got all the answers on that too. So feel free to ask any questions. I don't run or hide from nothing. By the way, my guest was a it's been a it's been a live long a a, a long time live long time. Contributor of the Bubba the Love Sponge Show since two thousand two, twenty two years, maybe except for the two years that he had off for being fired. So it's really twenty years of daily contributions. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. The thing is, Hold on, I'm, I'm I... pretty sure Bubba hates me now, though. Yeah, for some somebody did. told him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody told him a lie about me, and he oh. didn't check it. Tip Terry. Tip Terry's in the chat. That's awesome. He's great. I'll send Austin. Hey, I'll send Tip Terry a link if you want me to. He won't come on. I dare him. Send him a link. I dare Tip Terry to come on. Put the link right there in the chat. He's uh, already. He already. Hey. He's already ran. He's a coward. He likes to talk shit about me in the Rumble chat all day long. And then he he knows where I'm at in Twitch, but he doesn't come find me. He's not blocked. He can come talk his shit if he wants to, but he's a pussy, so he doesn't talk no shit. All he does is talk shit in Rumble Chat, where I can't even I can't even interact. Imagine that. That's like having your hands tied behind your back and just letting somebody punch you in the face over and over again, which I'm sure he'd love to do, even to a disabled person, because that's what a low level human being, this piece of worthless trash, is. Fake Canadian, fake voice, fat, mask wearing, fat, loser. Maybe he could behind hide behind a fake picture 
hey, come on. But he would never come on. There's no way. There's no way he would ever confront me face hey, to face. Was... Hey, what up? Was it, is it call me Michaela? Yeah. Were her ears ringing when, we were ta when I was talking about her before? Because I got confused. Uh, no, uh, hey, uh, 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 Michaela, we were, we, I was saying, uh, I was telling Joe about Kayla Riccada, uh putting uh, revenge porn uh, charges against um, um, uh, Aaron Imholt. And but I thought he said, oh, I thought he said Michaela. I'm like, not call me Michaela. He's like, yeah. no. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll send I'll send him a link. If if you if you want to come up, if he wants to come up, he's got he's got a he's got a he's got a link. He if, won't. Here's the thing. By the way, by the way, hey, Tampa Cherry actually said something really good that stuck to me. Hey, my haters are gonna the haters are gonna make you famous. That's great news. That's brilliant. You should see all the bullshit that he puts in the Rumble chat all day long. He just types the same trite platitudes over and over again. He's constantly calling people gay. Like he's like he calls me a gay criminal. Gay criminal alert. And the other day he called me Joe. Holy dope Joe. And that my boyfriend is, is another one of the guys in Rumble chat. Like, this is the stuff that I'm not even in chat. Why is he even talking about me? And then he attacked the guy again today because he knows he's a friend of mine. And then Tampa Terry actually just Tampa got into it with... Tampa Terry actually got into it with everybody today because apparently he can't get along with anybody. So he was fighting like seven different people all at the same time about nothing. He's a loser. He has nothing to do. This is the problem. There's a difference between entertainers and then the watchers. You see, you and I, Jake, are entertainers. We're in front of the camera. We're on the microphone. People like him just sit back and judge. That's all he does in Rumble Chat is judge, 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 judge. This guy's gay. This guy's a, a liberal. This guy's a trans. This and nonstop, all the just the same, nothing positive, nothing good to add. Just the worst person on the world. That isn't in the Bubba Army, isn't in the BRN hosting a show, co hosting anything. Because that would be Seth, second Tuttle, and the third worst person in the world is Tampa Terry. That's my shit list. And there's other people that should be on it too, like like Airtight Ski Pole. I don't know if you ever heard that name, Joe from the West Side. He, he contributes a lot of money. Well, he was talking shit today. Can, can I tell you something? Red Beard Say whatever you want. was a good person. Red Beard was that? a good person. Red right. Beard so was so that's what Airtight wrote today. He said Red Beard was a good father, a good uh, whatever else, husband, and he was looking for work while he was in the bed situation, unlike some other people, right? Who do you think he's talking about when he mentions that? You. you. Exactly. Exactly. I am constantly being visited by CNAs and nurses all day long. If I was working, I would never get anything done. Between blood sugar checks, I mean, I can't go seven feet without this. I can't put my legs down. What can I really do? Yeah, I could do voice work. I can make calls. But my calls would be constantly interrupted. I was on the air yesterday on the Lummox yeah. Sports Show. And, and a, a lovely lady from the activities department busts open my door and starts yelling, Hey, did you find an iPhone in here? And it ended up going over the air because I don't know why. She must have thought that I just sit here and do nothing all day like everybody else thinks. Hey, uh, by the way, I just want to say that I did send them a link. I did send Tampa Terry a link. It's in your whisp Twitch whispers right now, Tampa Terry. If you want to come up here, and I, you know what? Listen, I haven't, I haven't spoke to Tampa Terry in, in about a year. I well, do you remember the time you banned Tampa Terry because he was sticking up for me? Do you remember that time? What? Do you remember the time that you banned Tampa Terry because he was sticking up for me? You were at odds with me. Uh, yeah. and Tampa Terry came in the chat and he's like, hey, what's up, man? What's up, Holyoke Joe? He's cool. And you banned him. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. I don't forget anything. 
But I certainly uh, do forget. Uh, this is just oxygen. Uh, it's just five liters of oxygen. That's all. And so work. They got me. Today? I'm streaming right now. I just don't have any viewers anymore. After my mother died, I lost all my viewers. Hello? I'm here. No hard feelings, Jake, bro. Your haters will make you famous, brother. Just keep believing in yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Tampa Terry. Tampa Terry's got a link if he wants to come up. If he doesn't, here's, if he wants to, by the way, that is on our Twitch side because we're streaming on Twitch right now. Oh, no YouTube? Uh, YouTube, Twitch, and Kick. Oh, Kick. That's the one I've never yeah. tried yet. Maybe one of these days I will. I hear you can do anything on Kick. Um, there, dude, it's getting to the point where there's a, uh, PDF files are being exposed over there. One of the big streamers is a, some of the big streamers are doing stuff that it could be illegal on some other stream platforms. They're, on kick, uh, but they're, they, have, they get away with it on have, kick, right? Yeah, because and they they don't have any ads over there. The reason why is because of who owns. They think it's a ninety five five thing, because who owns the guy who owns it also owns the uh, crypto crypto gambling website Stake. That sounds like the they place to be it. for me. I don't know why. Doesn't it? Doesn't everything sound positive about Kick? Now, how, now I'm big on analytics. Numbers wise, what performs the best? I know Twitch performs like garbage. YouTube, I feel like would be the best, and then Kick followed up with a close second behind. But I bet you Kick doesn't measure up to YouTube. I, you know what? I don't see. I don't. I was a big performer of Kick, and right now I see it going in. I believe it. Have you have you received any money from Kick? Yeah, a few dollars. Okay, no, I'm just saying if you've received anything, because what I've been hearing is Kick has been effing people around and not giving them their money. Like they they earned it uh, and it's uh, there, but they're not giving it to them. I um. Be careful, Dave. Holy Joe killed a guy, bro. That, if, if you want that kind of um, defamation of character on your broadcast, I don't think that's a really good idea. So you probably should delete that comment. Um, I'll just take if, you, if you must know, which I've already gone over before, one of my employees committed suicide. And he had a paycheck for my company in his back pocket for five hundred dollars because it was I've Friday. Heard, it was payday. I've heard the story before. I've heard yeah. the story before. So I think we know that somebody coming into your stream and saying that be careful for Holyoke Joe, he killed a guy, bro. That's defamation. That comment needs to be deleted. And I would even suggest possibly banning that person for your own safety. You do you want somebody defaming another person's character in your chat? Do you want that to fall back on you? Do you allow that and and, and it was acceptable? I'll, 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 I'll delete the comment. I'll delete the comment. I would. Trying to see if I'll because it, it doesn't give me the. Uh... I mean, I wish he would say more things like that. That'd be great. Let him show his ass. Let him show the real true piece of shit that he really is. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you so Sorry, much. Sorry, I had to do this. Hey, brother, you didn't ask for, for this guy to come into your chat and stir trouble. Notice he, he started slow. He started working in his little positive remarks, like a, like a real coach that he is. And then it was one more. And then where did he go on the third one? Right to the deepest level of depravity where he lays. Where Tampa Terry lays. He can look up and he can't even begin to see the gutter because it's so far above him. He is the lowest form of life on earth, not just to me, but to everybody. He is just evil. He is 
And to think that I once thought he was a friend, that I got bamboozled into believing that he was a friend. I'm sorry, he, Secretary. I'm meanwhile, sorry. he never he never performed as a friend, but I, I was tricked into thinking he was a friend. And I would support his stream, and I'd stay up till one, two in the morning and watch his stream. And that's how I first met Redbeard, because he did that thing yeah. you do on what's it called raid. He raided Redbeard, and that's how I first met Redbeard. And I got to talk to Redbeard all night long when he was laying in a hospital bed and I was laying in a hospital bed. Yeah. Um, also, one of the things is because of Tampa Terry, I, I sub to, uh, I became a follower of uh, Perry Caravello. Never heard of him. Is that a guy? Perry Caravello of Windy City Heat. Is Carrie a female or a male? No, Perry Caravello is a oh, guy. Oh, Perry was with a P. Yeah. I thought you said Carrie. Hey, I got to give credit where it's due. I would have never even streamed if it wasn't for Tampa Terry. Tampa Terry is the one that told me, hey, man, you should start streaming on Twitch. You can do like a Habitat cam and show everybody what it's like to be in your situation. And I'm like, all right. And I started slow. I did an hour and then I did a couple hours and then. I'm like, why am I? Why would I even turn it off? Not a follower. By the way, Tampateri is not a follower. Tampateri is not a follower of what? Of my channel. Oh, like on YouTube? Twitch. Oh, you mean on Twitch? So you can see who your followers are. I could never do that. You can actually click their name and, and see if it went uh, but. You know what I wish I knew? I wish I could find out who unfollows. Like the same way it pops up on the screen when somebody follows. I wish it would pop up when they unfollow. Because there's some dirty bastards out there that come in. They don't even say hello or introduce themselves. The first words out of their mouth is, what's going on here? Or are you in a hospital bed or are you dying? Like they say the stupidest shit and then I engage them in conversation. So then they throw me a follow. I say, hey, thank you for the follow. And then they unfollow me when they leave. But it still stays up top. It's like, hey, email. so. It's in your email, Mira. I sent you an email. Lobo, you got one in your email too. I sent, a, I sent you an email. It's in the email. Lobo's got one too. Come, got one. Pills. There they go. There we go. I'm gonna drink them like pee. That's not always the smartest decision. I learned that the hot tea melts the pills, and then you get that nasty pill taste in your mouth. But if you just drink it with something cold, they just go right down the hatch and then it's, it's all said and done. And then I save my little med cups to spit in spittoons. If I got any spit that needs to be spat. Utilize everything. Nothing goes to waste. Except for the food. The food definitely goes to waste. Because it's gross. But it makes it that much easier to fast when the food is gross and you don't want to eat it. Are you there, Jake? I'm just like, um... I'm here. Cool. Have you ever shit your pants? I've all, uh, I'd... Sick. Yeah. At some point, right? In your life? You know, there's people that tell me that they've never shit their pants in their entire life. I shit my pants. Tampa Terry, Tampa Terry is, uh, I think that was, uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'll just get rid of that guy. Because, Tampa Terry uh, shit his pants? Damn. No, Tampa, Tampa Terry's got, just got banned. Oh, well, what did he say? Well, can you give me a gist of what he said? I don't run from anything. No, basically he was he was he was attacking you. <laughs> what did he say? In what manner? Hold on. It's okay. 
It's okay to talk about it. Yeah, but didn't Joe leave the gosh at the hospital door to try, bro? Instead of talking. No, no, that's not the case at all. And I'll and I'll uh I'll tap into that. I just uh, if you come through here it'll be much easier. And you get back right on right on here. Just I'm about to take an injection, get excited. Just not near the belly button and not near the bottom of the belly. All this meat. All right. Um, can you mute yourself for a minute? Hey, what's up, Steve? Yo, how you doing, brother? How you doing? I, I Good to see you. A, I think Holy Oak has got his mic muted. No, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back now. I had to mute it. All right. Who's right, that I'll, picture on the screen? Thank you. Me, th that's me. That's me. Oh, Doesn't yeah. even look like you. How old? How long ago was that? Twenty sixteen. Nice. Hey, is that Tampa yeah, Terry down there? No, that's Steve. That's uh, oh, Steve. Steve. Mira, that that's Mira Mira. Ah, oh, is it like Meta Meta? Or is it Mira Mira? Mira 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 Mira. Okay. Mira Mira. On this planet, the only judge of this planet. Man, that's rough. The mirror. That's a, that's a rough yeah. connection. I wish I could hear what you were saying. That's rough, bro. We can't hear you. Oh, dear. I heard you say something about mirror, mirror on the wall, maybe? Oh. No, mirror, mirror. It's the only judge on this planet. How about you, Jake? Do you have a translation on that one? He his internet is he he's in the middle of Spain right now. He is in the Spain? middle of Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Wow. That is actually he is a uh he's he is a hobo. Oh really? He a, he's a hobo. He's a real hobo. Kick ass. He um basically lives Anywhere that uh, people let him. Mm. I'll tell you this. As much as that sounds like it sucks, it's so freeing to not be beholden to anyone. To not have to be anywhere at any certain time or have to deal with anybody's bullshit. Yeah. It's like a free spirit. You just get to go and just live. And that's it. Just live and keep living. And it's and it's perfect. Where I'm at right now, I feel stuck. So stuck. So horribly by the way, stuck. Uh, by the way, we do need to uh, we do need to promote this because this is how I uh, how I get the bills paid and stuff. Is anybody if anybody that wants to tip the stream? We have no goal. We just you just want to help. Well, let's Tell make a goal. Let's let's set a goal right now. Let's set a goal for right now. Because because, because here's the thing. Uh, I want to say that I just want to say that you know Steve was part of the show yesterday. Was part of the crazy show. By the way, Steve, post the audio version. Steve, you're muted. Steve. Oh. Steve. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah. Steve. 
So I was thinking, since we've been going 51 minutes almost, let's just set a ten dollar goal in the next nine minutes. Yo, ten dollars. Yo, Jay. Oh, sound quality. It's getting better. You can hear me, can you? It's real choppy, Steve. Choppy, choppy. Choppy, choppy, your pee pee. <laughs> ah, I just farted. It was quiet. Those are sharing. We're all hanging on Steve's next word. <coughs> Main event, Steve. By the way, um, on by the way, I am on Odyssey. And no way. No more ads. They're on. They're saying no more ads. Is it a paid service? Do, do people have to pay to see it? No, it's not a paid service. It's so a, it's a free service and no ads. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, that's the reason why I like DLive better than DLive is better than uh, YouTube. I wonder what the hell. DLive, DLive and Trovo and them are better than some of the other platforms because they don't have ads. They don't run kick run kick kick doesn't run ads, but you make your money through your subs and shit. Right. But I they're they're saying they're gonna put ads on video ads on streams and stuff. Guys, I wanna say this. Don't worry about what people are thinking and people are saying. Yeah, I got an email from Netflix yesterday. They said they're changing their whole, their restructuring everything as of September twenty first. So they're right. going up in price, but there's going to be new features. They're supposed to be better, ten eighty video quality, and the latest, greatest this and all this BS. So I don't even remember what I was paying for Netflix. I thought it was like seven ninety nine, maybe nine ninety nine, but now they want to go up to fifteen ninety nine. And that's just for the lowest one. There's more. If you want to pay more, you get more, I guess. But I'm just what, holding what up. What are you Netflix. talking about? Netflix. You know, I'm holding up. They're, 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 uh, they're getting the, they're getting the uh, WWE deal coming right. up. Right. So that's why I want to, as much as I would just love to cancel Netflix, because I never even use it. It was just for the girls. When I had the girls around, they always want to watch Netflix. But now that I don't have the girls around, it's like, all right, um, I don't really need it. And then WWF starts January. So it's like, well, why delete it now for three months? Hey, you can call it what you want. It's always WWF to me. No. That'd be like if you try to change my first name right now and start calling me Jim. It's like, no, I'm not. I'm not Jim. I'm Joe. It's still WCW. It's still WCW. No, you're thinking of the other way that back in, in the 2000s when when the whole uh, AOL merger happened. That was pretty incredible. Can you imagine? I know you, you know this, but I know you know Shane McMahon just had a meeting with Tony Khan. Could you imagine if Shane yeah. McMahon popped out on AEW? Oh, that's our uh, no. Our uh, a lot of people don't understand. ROH is now AEW. It's a it, it it used to be. First, it was owned by Feinstein. Feinstein had some ROH. Rob Feinstein. Kerry Silken. Then, Rob Feinstein. Then it got sold to St. Clair. Then when St. Clair went, and then he got sold to Tony Khan last year. Now it's it's so bad. It, I don't even watch Ring of Honor. Because right. So how, the, dude, you just contradicted yourself. That's so weird. You said it's so bad, but you say you never watch it. 
So how could it no. be so bad? If you no, watch I've watched, it? I've watched, I've all, I, I've saw clips of it. It's okay. so bad that, so bad because the old Ring of Honor stuff used to be on a local, on a local channel. Mm-hmm. We had it out here in Boston too. We even had it where my mother lived. We had, was, you had to stay up to like two, three in the morning to watch it on Nesson, New England Sports Network. But it was worth being up for because it was so good. It was so cutting edge, like the old days of ECW when you used to have to stay up till two yeah. in the morning to watch ECW and how cutting edge and the latest, greatest wrestlers before they made it to TV. And that was exciting. But now Tony Khan has decided it's not, he's, he's going to draw a line in the sand. And it's not going to be AEW, and it's not going to be Ring of Honor. And there's going to be AEW, but then there's going to be AEW ROH. So he's going to put an AEW banner before the ROH. That's coming, so get excited. Is this, is this a, uh, uh, we got a hold on before. Uh, hello? Hey, Jay, can you hello? hear me, buddy? What's up, Tampa Terry? How you doing, Hola. brother? Hey, good, Hola. good, Jake, bro. I just wanted to say, Jake, I'm really proud of you to see you still uh, doing your streaming thing, bro. And I'm proud of you, bro. Thank just you. ignore the haters. Keep doing your thing, man. You got this. Thank you so much, Tampa Terry. Thank you so much, brother. Sorry for banning you. Uh, it's the uh, problems. I don't want to. Oh, hey, it's no hard feelings, him. bro. It's no hard feelings, bro. You're good, man. You're good. He's yeah. used to getting bad. Hey, um, how, hey, how you been, brother? Oh, I've been good, man. I've been good. I just got out of the gym. I'm just eating some eggs and potatoes right now, man. Caught your stream. Just wanted to say I'm, I'm proud of you, man, doing your thing. I see you doing it big on here, bro. Yeah. You know, I had, uh, I, last week I had two big stars, Bob Levy and Kevin Brennan on my show. Damn, I remember Bob Levy from Howard Stern, bro. That's a pretty big name. Yeah, and and the thing is, uh, are, are I I I sh- I am well, I have this as the porn blocker because of uh, I don't want to get porn bombed. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Uh, listen, here here here's the thing. It's like here here's the thing. I'm just I'm just trying. I listen. To, I'm sorry that if it, it's you, if if you have anything with Joe, I don't have nothing to do with what you and Joe were fighting about. For sure, bro. For sure, I feel you, it, man. I feel, it, you're, you're you're good, Jake. Like, you're good, bro. You're good. It's like the thing is, it's it's. I thought you guys were cool, Tampa Terry. Yeah, I helped Joe out a lot, bro. I helped Joe out a lot, but he turns on everyone, bro, and he talks shit about people's kids and their dying parents and their wives and girlfriends and over and over and over, bro. That's why he got banned from everywhere, bro. He didn't get banned for no reason, like he says. He got he got banned for a reason, bro. And it's unfortunate because a lot of people were pulling for Joe and wanted him to do good, but he just kept on talking shit about people's kids and their dying parents and their wives and their girlfriends and this awful, awful stuff, bro. And no one wants to hang out with him anymore. Hey, um, by the way, Tampa Terry is one of the reasons why I started that uh, because Tampa Terry would restream um, Perry Caravello. That's how I watched Perry Caravello for the time with the Tampa Terry. Yeah, hey, Perry Caravello is doing it big too, man. He, he's blowing yeah. up huge. He, he, he was at a, he was at a, uh, he was at a pod sale. He was doing stuff with Bob Levy. He did a show with Bob Levy uh, Saturday. Well, wow, you and Perry are working with the same guys then, Jake. Yeah, but I bet uh, Cub Brennan doesn't let Perry do a lot of stuff. Well, I'm not familiar with him. Tom Bren- uh, Perry's a, uh, the guy, Tom Brennan, the guy that is the voice of the show. Oh, okay, Perry's manager. I got you, bro. I got you. Yeah, the guy, the guy that runs the show. Listen, it's not going to be All right, I think I think that was uh, I think that was Holyoke. That um, uh, sorry, he, he's listening. He's watching uh, Bubba. 
Sorry, I muted you, Joe. That's fine. I mean, I'm not muted now, right? You're not muted. Bubba hey, just started a, a what he's calling a pop-up news show. So he decided to just go live, and now Bubba's doing a pop-up news show live. So I'm sure Tampa Terry, the Bubba supporter that he is, be very, very excited to hear that. Possibly yeah. run right over there. Oh, uh, but it's on uh, YouTube. Hey, Terry. Terry, I'll unban you, Terry. Sorry about that, brother. Bro, it's all good. You're good, man. You don't got to apologize. You do. You need to apologize for all the horrible things you continue to say and you're allowed to say. How are you allowed to con consistently bring up gay in chat and not get timed out, muted, or banned? How are What's you wrong allowed with being gay? Apparently, you think there's something wrong with being gay because you call everybody you have a problem with gay and you call them a liberal and you call them transsexual. Like, Obviously, if, if, if you're using those terms, you're not using them in a positive light. You're not saying, no, hey, I, never gay. Gay awesome. I never called anyone gay except for you. No, no, because you called plenty of people gay. You called Gary Greaswine gay yesterday. You called. No, just uh, dude, I got the screenshot so you can suck my dick. How about that? <laughs> uh, screenshot hey, in the um, chat, bro. Tampa, I got your um, fucking screenshot. You watch it on YouTube? Him on YouTube or on he can't use YouTube. He's banned, but he has a secret account. He thinks he's slick, but I know what it is. So it's Sean That's Patrol. That's my secret account, bro. I mean, Sean Patrol, idiot. Yeah, I'm Sean Patrol. And YouTube, you are. So wh why did you tell Jake that you got banned from all the channels, bro? Because then you said Gub is mad at you because of lies. What lies, bro? You sure it wasn't the truth that you're talking shit about people's kids and dying parents and wives and girlfriends over and over and over, bro? Because that's why people don't want to talk to you anymore, bro. Good. I'm glad. Yeah, because you think saying that kind of stuff is okay. Yeah. Well, I don't think saying that stuff is okay at all. Oh, uh, Tampa, Tampa Terry. When I, I got my latest stick, gave me two types of stick, sent me 20 stickers. Ten of the ones with the, uh, with the, uh, um, the ones with the, um, QR code and ones without the QR code. Oh, nice, Jake. Nice, bro. Yeah. Or Bubba. Bob, here's the thing. I've been a Bubba supporter for, I was a, I was a sub to him on my old account for 24 months. That was gifted subs, and that was also me subbing up myself sometimes. Hey, do you ever remember who gifted you a sub, Jake? I a lot do you of recall times, anybody? It, I, it, it was either it was either it was either um, uh, it was either a, it was a lot of people did it's either that did the gifted subs or is people that I knew that would was doing it for me. Yeah, I just wanted you to see about one name because every every sub that I've been gifted, I remember every single person that's ever gifted me a sub. Like y'all even give Tampa Terry hey, credit. Hey, hey, he's, he's gifted me a sub to his channel, which is awesome. A lot of by the way Joe, let me tell you something. I get, get I have so many I have so many people that I follow that I don't remember a lot of people that give me subs, including people David Chandler has given me subs to channels before. Nice. Chandler, That's cool. Yeah. Sounds like a I have, Tampa, Tampa Terry. Hey boss. Tampa. I I dude, by the way, I did I started watching uh Ben Mella stuff. Ben Mella actually bought a house right by uh Hogan's old house. Well yeah, I'm not familiar with him, bro. I'll have to look into that. Ben Mella, uh he's friends with uh he's friends with uh Hogan's butt buddy. Jimmy Hart. Oh wow, you got the authentic Jimmy Hart there, bro. That's good, man. That's yeah. good. Yeah, mine's got no hands. Mine's got no hands. Now, I've, heard that Hogan, I've heard that Hogan is a power bottom. Could you imagine Hogan taking it from Jimmy Hart? I heard Holyoke Joe left a guy to die in front of the hospital, bro. You got to watch out for this guy, Jake. Uh, no, I took him from where he drove the car into the wall. I put him in my own vehicle, bleeding everywhere. And I got on the line with 911 and prepped the hospital to let them know I was on the way. I pulled up in front. Five people came out. They wheeled them out, and then I stood and I had a conversation with the detectives. 
So that's not, the 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 said, that's not what the legal documents say. They say you left him in front of the hospital, bro, to die. Nope. Wrong. You're so wrong. The legal say oh, I'm wrong because I'm the one that lived it, and you're the one that's supposedly oh. in Canada that doesn't know a fucking thing about anything. A fucking liar. Hey, oh. Guys, we do have a ten dollar goal. We got, we got, a, we got a twenty dollar goal. If you want to take care of it, we got to get done. If you guys want thirty minutes of overtime, thirty minutes of what? Overtime. Overtime. Okay. I thought you said overcome. I'm like, what, what are we overcoming? Like. Overcoming yeah. the, ignorance, the ignorance of Tampa Theory. I'm sure you've had plenty of people lie about you too, Jake Hudson, right? Have you ever had somebody tell have you ever had somebody tell a lie about you? Pulper says he give me a few minutes. Pulper? Pulper. Popper eighty, what's up, bro? Oh, I thought you said Bill Goldberg. Yeah, the thing is, um, you got you got to let people, um, um, polio. You got to let people talk because here's the thing. We are, here's the thing. I've done shows with people that I didn't like. I did shows with people I didn't like. Polio. Right. I did a show and you saw when, when the cemetery first came on, what did I say? Nothing. I was professional and I was cordial, as he was yeah. with you. And then he turned, just like he did in the chat. He just has a switch. And he's, 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 there's something wrong with him in it, upstairs in his listen, mind. Listen, can I tell you something? I don't, I don't like, you know, I don't want people to come on my show and say, you know, I, I'll let people talk and say what they have to say because here's the thing that the truth. We talked about it. We, here's the thing makes cash. Yeah, I think you and I both know that I could have said a lot more. Than I said, I think if you watch this back, you'll see my face and you'll see me. I, my lips I, I, tight. Popper, you, you're the real Popper. I trust you. Because here's the thing: you have a ridge on your name. I gave you the ridge. Uh, oh, a wrench! I thought you said a a ridge. A ridge, yeah. Listen, Pulver eighty, Pulver eighty, and, and Pulver's been a good person to me. Pulver, so what are they saying? Put one of their comments up so I can read it. What are they saying? Good things? Uh, actually, just let uh, Pulp, Jake. There's a fake Pulver running around in chat saying nasty things about me and my wife. Don't trust him. I'm the guy with the Jurassic Park avatar. You're also the one with the uh, ridge by their name. If they don't have a ridge, I don't believe them. Does he know who that person is that's pretending he's to be a, him? He's just one of the Nobody Likes Onion boys that are actually is, 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 is just these people that they. It's like the stuff with Howard back in the day when people have people, uh, there were people calling on shows, get video of it, and send to Howard. Howard Stern, dickhead. Hey, did did Tampateri leave himself or did you kick him off? He left. Why didn't he say goodbye? He, he left. As Steve was saying goodbye, he had to leave. He had to go listen to Bubba, but see. Only cowards run, Jake. Well, I, yeah. I used to tell this because I've I had to argue with my nurses, and I'm sure you've had to argue with your PCAs before over yeah. certain things. And when they're wrong, they run. When 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 they lie and they try to talk themselves out of whatever they did wrong, well, I didn't do it. Nobody owns up to anything. And you say, Well, if that's the case, then then you show them the facts. Now they're painted into a corner. What do they do? Oh, you're so rude. And then they run, right? Yeah. That's what always, that's what's always happened to me. So when you're right, they run. Hello. 
I'm still here. Where's he? Mm. Man, I don't even have to say anything. All I need to do is let him talk, and he'll show you who yeah. the asshole is. I know you want to stay Switzerland in a deal. You don't want to have to pick a side, but I mean, I don't know. I won't even put that on you, but from an outsider's perspective, just based on what you've read and what you've heard out of Tampa Terry today, who's the baby and who's the heel in this situation? $20 gold, guys. You guys want to support the stream is $20. But the thing is, I said there was no gold for a lot of days. But the thing is, it's like money right now. You know, I know you guys... It's almost the end of the month. No, it's Start not. It's only the 8th. What? Isn't it the 8th? What day is it? The 6th or the 8th? I can't tell. Today's the 8th, right? Hold on. 6th. No. no. I'm, I'm chitting you. Uh, I haven't got it yet. It's only a week since the 1st of the month. There's still some money in there. Let's go. If everybody just gave $2. Uh, if everybody watched it right now, just super chat at $2. You can do super chat, right? Or do you have to no. go through your... Is it just PayPal? PayPal cash. Wow, that's awesome. Come Load them up. And you would get a notification right now if somebody sent you 2 bucks. Yep. Yeah, the email so what, right now. What would you do? Because I'll do... I'll do anything, but what would you do for two bucks wait, right now? Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. We just got a sorry, we just got an a pulper eighty just said twenty five dollars. I knew pulper would do it. I knew it. I didn't want to ask when we had pulper right there. Twenty five dollars, guys. We I just knew got it. a twenty five dollar gift card for Amazon. I'll I knew. On gift card. I knew Amazon Paul was going to do it. Sorry. With Amazon gift cards, I don't have to clear them with the government. I thought that Pulper was going to do just ten dollars. That's what was in my brain. But yeah. banging out twenty five, Pulper, you're the man. Pulper, you are. You are the. You are the best in the world, Pope. Pulper is. He doesn't do. Pulper doesn't do like cash apps and stuff. He does. This is better for him. Better Amazon. Amazon is better. Yay! By the way, I'm gonna order some more. I last week had some of those strawberry wafer cookies. I'm gonna order some. From which brand? Um, uh, uh, bullet. Sorry, I had a, uh, 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 B A U D U C C O. Wow, are they Italian? I don't know. Sounds Italian. Badaco. Hell yeah. Is there strawberry cream in the middle of the wafers? Yeah. Hey, Jake, you got any hot takes on anything? Have you discussed yeah. the, the have you discussed the Trump assassination attempt and given your take? The only thing I, I the only thing I'll talk about about that is I don't try to talk about anything like that. Right. That's why I'm prefacing what I'm saying because I won't even bring it up because I know you don't want to talk about it. But what I did want to ask yeah. is if you had already talked about it. And if you had given an opinion, that's just a yes or no. That doesn't involve any complicated answers. Just yeah. have you talked about it already or have you given an opinion? I, I'll i be very honest. I am I am trying to stay in the, I'm independent. That's fine. I'm in a hard spot right now because I was so sold on voting for Trump against Biden, and now I'm falling in love with Kamala or Kamala. Dude, I never knew she was so hot. I never knew she was half Jamaican and half Indian. Those are like my favorite two cultures as far as food goes. I can't believe her cooking must be so incredible. She can make me a jerk chicken tikka masala. That's like jerk chicken for Jamaican food and, and oh, curry shrimp. Man, 
Oh, she's actually beautiful. And I love how aloof she is, like how dumb she is. Like, oh, the end is the oh, beginning. Flimsy. Yeah. Oh, Flimsy. Mickey 2 a let me get your moderator, Flimsy. Thank you so much, Pulper. Thank you so much. The Pulper, because he loves the pulp when he drinks his orange juice. He gets extra, extra pulp. Pulper is a good person. Pulper is a, you know, is is one of those people that I just want to say this. I Pulper doesn't give like PayPal's and stuff. I don't see him do PayPal and stuff. I see him do more Amazon gift cards to people. Pulper be wildin'. By the way, you know, I just ordered. You know how I know. I actually ordered me another pair of headphones. You're about to be ready. I just ordered me another pair of headphones. Because sometimes I. I. Dude. I'm going. I'm trying to. I'm doing good stuff today. I am doing okay. I'm Are they paid, Bluetooth? I'm, headphones, Jake? Are they Bluetooth? Uh, they're wired. They're wired. I have nowhere to plug in a wire, so if I ever got headphones, they'd have to be wireless. I don't have a. I don't have a, a port. I don't have a jack for a headphones in my phone because they figure everybody's Bluetooth a, anyway. So I have a flip phone and it has a jack on it. Nice. Because sometimes you might need a new pair. You, you you might need an extra pair of headphones. I have I have a pair of earbuds that I got off of Amazon for my birthday. Nice. I hate the fact that you know I would be number one. I could never get earbuds to stick in my ear, and that was a major thing. Like when I was refereeing, you know they want the referees to wear the earpieces, right? So I'd have to wire the earpiece around my ear. Now the earbuds, nothing stays in my ears. It all jumps out. So I'd have to wrap the wire around my ear just to get it to stick. And then I'd ride it down under the back of my shirt down. And then I'd have the box plugged in in my pocket, right? And every time I'm moving in the ring, that thing's falling off. I'm spending more time sticking that thing back in my ear than I am focused on the match and actually working. Plus, yeah. I have 10 times more experience than the guys I'm in the ring with. And two times at least or three times the experience that the booker who is the one that's talking into the microphone that's in my ear anyways. So there's nothing they could tell me that I don't already know. Uh, I'm actually better off not listening to them and telling the wrestlers what to do myself at that point. Yeah. So that's why they would give me the, sorry, go ahead. they would give me the microphone or not the microphone. They would give me the earbud and they would give me the box and I would just, at first I laughed at them. I'm like, no, absolutely not. Take it away. Oh, no, but everybody has to wear them. Well, not me. If you want me to wear it, then I just leave. I'll leave. I don't care. I don't need to be here. So I never wore it. I never wore it. I never had to wear it. Everything was always perfect. The younger guys that don't know any better, maybe they need to be told shit in their ear. But I knew how to feel the crowd. I knew when to end a match. I knew when to bring the crowd back and what to do. If the baby face wasn't fighting back and he was just getting his ass kicked in the heat, I say, fight back a little bit, brother. Fight back. Come on, let's go. You know, coaching him in the ring. But, the, the, you know, your other referees who just weren't good enough to be wrestlers because that's who becomes referees. I was a wrestler before I was a referee. I chose to be a referee because I could never be the best wrestler in the world, but I could definitely be the best referee in the world. And I look back on some of my wrestling, I was awesome. So I guess I should have stayed wrestling, but whatever. It is what it is. Hindsight's perfect. Yeah, Go ahead. The thing is, the, the thing is, it's like a lot of a lot of referees now. I see a lot of wrestlers thinking that they 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 didn't go to wrestling school. They didn't need all that shit. They didn't, they said they didn't, but the thing is, I've been here, I've worked with people that say that they will never have someone, if if you go to their shows, they won't have you on the show if you're not trained. And even then, I could go to a show and lie about who my trainer was. You know what's funny? I was so good in wrestling, I never once got asked who my trainer was. So maybe they already knew. 
maybe the promoter already knew who my trainer was and who I worked with. So I never got asked. But anytime I ever went and offered my services to any promotion, if they didn't reach out to me first, then I, they never asked who trained you. Because they might just, know. Like, I never thought of that until right now. That just really struck me strange. I well, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Like when I book somebody, who trains you? That's a, a huge question. It really matters. Yeah, and the thing is, it's like, and I see these, and I see these people. These, uh, there's a there's a guy out in um New Jersey named Dalton. He run, runs runs a run a promotion called Find Yourself Wrestler FYW. He had people like Gary Wolf. He had James Ellsworth. He had a lot of people on his shows, but he didn't pay the people. He didn't know. <laughs> he didn't have the money. He he's going to cash apps. I remember when you got paid by cash, or you would or you would get a check for yeah. the, the booking. That's all I ever got was cash or check. Forever it was cash, yeah. and then I worked for TNA Impact Wrestling. They paid by check. WWF pays yeah. by check. Yeah, and, and now I see people like they they're they're paying through cash apps and all that shit. They There's another company that I work for. There was a company I worked for up in New Hampshire. Oh my god, this guy paid. He would pay for your trans. He would pay for your hotel, and then he would pay you so much. He paid me so much to wrestle on a six man match as one of the Texas Hangmen, and I, I think I put a hood on. A black mask, and I, I cut. A, they had me cut a promo because it was for TV up there, and I and I claimed to be from Holyoke, Texas. <laughs> I don't even know if there is a Holyoke, Texas. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, 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 and the thing is, is now it's like people are are they they're 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 doing this, and now you got to be trained. You got to go to a, a professional wrestling company. Professional but even then, never hire you. even then, Jake, the level of training is like you used to see when I first started training, it was July 10th of 97, right after when I turned 18. And I didn't work my first match in front of people until April 23rd of 98. So that's almost a full year of training before I got to work in front of people. In, in the in the days before me, not too many years before I trained, they wouldn't even let you work in the ring. You took bumps. You learned how to fall on the outside on gymnasium mats. You didn't even have the right to set foot in the ring. I was blessed enough to when I first trained, the first thing I did was hop in the ring. And the worst thing ever happened. I, w I went to go check out the school, and I'm sitting up on the top rope. And this guy, I don't know if you ever heard of Noodles Nixon. It's funny. He actually, they booked him on Jerry Springer to do a spot on Jerry Springer. They used a lot of independent wrestlers on Jerry Springer skits. This guy ended yeah. up ripping his pants down and running up and down the aisleways with his pants down, noodles next to him. Anyways, this guy's in the ring, and I'm sitting on the top rope just observing. I haven't decided if I'm going to the school yet. And this guy comes up, does a handstand on the bottom ropes to pop up his legs to do like a hurricane run on me. Trish Stratus later went on to do that move, if you're familiar. You know, you do the handstand on the bottom rope, bring the legs up. But I'm still holding onto the top rope for my life. Like, I don't want to fall off the top rope. And then why is this guy even doing this? I don't even know this guy. So my trainer comes over, my future trainer who's going to be my trainer. He comes over and says, hey, let him do that again. But this time, hold his thighs up with your hands. So that way he, ha he can have some balance. So, okay, he comes up, he brings his legs up, wraps them around my head. I let go of the top rope and he pulled me down and I landed right on top of my head, directly mm. on top with all of my weight. I heard about so many snap crackles and pops in the back of my neck, and I could not move at all. Dude. I couldn't move my arms. I couldn't move my legs. All the guys in the, in the ring, were they just stopped. They were totally freaked out. These guys, the power company friends, they worked with WCW. They lifted my, they pulled my arms out because they were by my side, and no, no movement. They tried to move my legs, nothing. They were about to call 911, but then about 15, 20 minutes later, I started to get motion back. So I guess it was just a stinger. But I still have a separation in the back of my neck that I can feel, bone. Yeah. It's crazy. They did an MRI in the back of my neck the last time I was in the hospital. And they're concerned that there might be a separation between my spine and my brain. 
but right, it wasn't well, serious enough. Oprah actually says you can you you can get a a cheap USB C adapter to plug into your phone to convert your hardware hardwire earbuds and earphones. I had nice. to do it with one of my phones. Bluetooth has its pros and cons. Uh, both of, of wire is great, but you uh, audio quality, the risk of charging, running out during a port of meeting. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a hard wire willy all the time. Yeah. Even, even right um, now, I have my phone plugged in. I don't even need it. It's at 100%, but it's still plugged in. I just hardwire yeah. all day. Thank you, hey, Popper, uh, for that, by the way. Uh, Popper is actually a good person. Popper is a lot of the people that we have on our shows and stuff. Popper is actually one of the people that, you know, was a part of the late night streams. He was streaming with us. Uh, Mr. Blue Sky was streaming with us. a lot of the a lot of the crew that I have last year stayed with me. Between this year has been rough for me. The SWAT and my sister dying and other stuff that has happened. And now it's like I've had some things happen that I'm having to like figure out things. But hey, I think I'm ready to uh, pull it. Uh, we stayed here for 30 minutes. More than we, I wanted to want to keep this under an hour, but we're. I think we got to pull this bus into the barn. Is it a short bus? No, bus in the barn. All right. Means we put the boots on the shelf. Get ready to get uh, shell. I think I'm gonna get ready to head head to bed. I'm gonna put my feet up. Yeah. I'm hit the sack. Um, <laughs> you know, and, and by the way, I still have. I still Still have to ed get these clips edited and put this on Spreaker, but I might do it later. I might do it later. Jake, you do whatever you want. You set your own schedule, right. baby. You're the, you're the king. Yeah, and the thing is, it's like you know, and the thing thing for me is, I just ordered a six pack of Sprite. Oh, regular, not zero sugar. Uh, it's the regular, but they, dude, they, 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 they took the green bottles away oh, from boy. Sprite. Oh, Sprite. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't even know. Hello? Yeah, I declined it. Um, I do have a, I do have a, um, I do have some, I already have some that I want to throw over. Let me see who, see who I picked. Who's... By the way, Tropical Storm Debbie. They named the Tropical Storm after a Debbie. Hell yeah. Debbie does where? Where is Debbie striking right now? Florida still or did Debbie move? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The biggest hurt I've been through was hurt was Katrina. Ooh. Bubba was talking about the top five things in our lives that really impacted us during our lifespan. And he was talking about 9-11. He was talking about the Trump assassination attempt. And I said Katrina, but that wasn't big enough for him. He didn't think that was big enough. I said like 1,300 people died, but not big enough. By the way, uh, Bubba's live right now. Oh, I know. That's where I'm headed right as soon as we're done. Hey, um, I'm not a sub, and he has it sub-only mode. Go we'll watch it on Kick. Well, well, not Kick, but watch it on Rumble. Watch it on YouTube. Why not? I wonder if I can do this. Oh, Dave shit. the Slave is over there. Dave the Slave is over there. Stuck in Dion's tub is over there. the place to be see i got it on the screen right here i'm right there on the screen can you see that i don't know what you can see i just turned the camera around are you able to see the television jake 
Uh, I am not looking at the screen. I'm messaging Lomax. Hey, um, how you doing? I see the screen. Hey, Autumn, how you doing, sweetheart? All right, awesome. I think it's time. My friend Autumn's in here. Autumn, that's, a, that's an awesome name. I love Autumn. It's my favorite month. Nice and cool. The leaves are turning colors. Pumpkin starts rolling around. Pumpkin flavored stuff. Autumn, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Jake, thanks for having me on, brother. It's been a pleasure. I'm, uh, Tampa Terry proved me wrong. He actually came on, so props to him for that. All right, guys. It's it. We are done today. Bye, guys. And we are.